Hello, and welcome to Writer Rant, author advice in five minutes or less, because I have to get back to writing, and so do you. So this week I'd like to talk a little bit uh, about time travel. Uh, I know we had Daylight Savings changeover just recently, and it got me to thinking about how it's represented in uh, not only literature, but in movies as well. It's, it's a tricky thing, and most, uh, most of them don't ever really cover it very well, other than to say, oh, something happens and suddenly they're in the future or they're in the past. And yeah, you could probably leave it at that, but uh, I want to put a challenge out to you authors out there. Let's try and make time travel a little more believable. Uh, the first thing that I find is a little irritating is just the ability to go forward in time. Uh, clearly we do that just normally, but uh, is there a way that we can do it faster as we can end up in the future. And it's really kind of tricky when you think about it because time is inextricably linked to space. So space-time together means that if you travel forward in time, uh, you need to travel in such a way in space that you don't end up in the middle of essentially space, uh, in the vacuum of space that it, that is our galaxy. Uh, so if you think about it, uh, when we move forward in time, uh, all the physics is in such a state that we stay where we are. Uh, that's just the normal state of how we live. Now, if we jump forward in time, if we jump forward two minutes, everything moves. Just that's how the physics works. Uh, the Earth has rotated. Uh, the Earth has spun around the sun a little bit. Our solar system has gone around the Milky Way. The Milky Way has gone around the universe. So even in just mere seconds, because these things are moving very fast. I mean, just the Earth is moving about 49 kilometers a second. So just one second, you're 49 kilometers out in outer space. And what do you do then? Uh, so clearly we need something that, uh, in our fiction, that ties us down to a physical location. Now, whether that's uh, like a, a phone booth, like a Doctor Who, or if it's uh, some other spot that we can be anchored to that when we travel forwards in time it just puts us back in that spot hey that'd be great um, so that's one thing to consider is you know how how are those connected how do we how do we take advantage of those uh, I know Futurama did a pretty good job of it uh, with essentially saying that the spaceship stays in a fixed location and everything else moves around it so maybe that's some way that we can use time travel to even do interstellar travel maybe make that a a bit of a fiction piece. So uh, with that in mind, just uh, let's let's make time travel great again because honestly a lot of the physics is kind of loose and yeah it's entertaining but if we can really make it make sense, make people think it's believable, who knows? Anyways, this has been Benjamin M. Weilert and thank you for watching Writer Rant.